Singanaluru Puttaswamaya Mutaraju, the 24th of April 1929 to the 12th of April 2006, known mononymously by his stage name Rajkumar, was an Indian actor and singer in the Kannada cinema. Widely acclaimed as one of the finest actors in the history of Indian cinema, he is considered a cultural icon, and holds a matinee idol status in the Kannada diaspora, among whom he is popularly adulated as Nata Sarvabhuma Emperor of Actors, Bangarada Manishya Man of Gold, Vara Nata Gifted Actor and Rajana Elder Brother, Raj. Rajkumar entered the film industry after his long stint as a dramatist with Gubi Virana's Gubi Drama Company, which he joined at the age of eight, before he got his first break as a lead in the 19. 1954 film Badara Kanapa. He went on to work in over 220 films essaying a variety of roles, and excelling in portraying mythological and historical characters in films such as Bhakta Kanakadasa Ranadhira Kantirava Satya Harish Chandra Imadi Pulakeshi Sri Krishnadivaraya Bhakta Kumbhara Myra Babruvahana and Bhakta Prahlada Trained in classical music during his theater days, Rajkumar also became an accomplished playback singer and despite imperfections in shruti and pitch, he came to be known for his diction in the language. He mostly sang for his own films since 1974. The songs, Yar Kugadali, Hudader Kannada, Hey Dinakara, Harudaya Samudra, and Nadamaya became widely popular. For his rendition of the latter song, he was awarded the National Film Award for Best Male Playback Singer. Well known for his highly disciplined and simple lifestyle in both personal and professional fronts, Rajkumar was also an avid yoga, pranayama and Carnatic music performer. In 2000, he was kidnapped from his farmhouse at Gajanur by Virapan and was released after 108 days. His final screen appearance came in Jogi in 2005. He died of cardiac arrest at his residence in Bangalore on the 12th of April 2006 at the age of 77. In his film career, Rajkumar received 13 Karnataka State Film Awards including 9 Best Actor and 2 Best Singer Awards, 8 Filmfare Awards South and 1 National Film Award. He holds the record of receiving Filmfare Award for Best Actor Kannada and Karnataka State Film Award for Best Actor the maximum number of times till date. He received the NTR National Award in 2002. He was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Mysore, and is a recipient of the Padma Bhushan in 1983 and the Dadasaheb Falk Award in 1995 for lifetime contribution to Indian cinema. <laughs> Early life Rajkumar was born on 24 April 1929 in Gajanur, a hamlet in a predominantly Tamil-speaking Talavadi Talik in the erstwhile Madras Presidency in present-day Iroda district, Tamil Nadu. His father, Puttaswamaya and mother, Lakshmama were impoverished theatre artists from Singanalar. Puttaswamaya was good at playing roles such as Kamsa, Ravana and Haranyakashipu. Rajkumar left school at eight and was later discovered by film producers, who cast him in bit roles that he played till he was 25. Originally, he was named Mudaraja, after the Muthathi Raya a name for the Hindu deity Hanuman, which is a temple deity located in Muthathi, a settlement on the banks of River Kaveri in present-day Karnataka, before acting in what would become his first film as a lead, Badara Kanapa in 1954. Rajkumar appeared in Sri Srinivasa Kalyana in 1952, as one of the seven Saptarishi sages. It was an insignificant role, he remembered that the scene was over before he recognized himself in the scene. Topic Career Topic As actor Raj Kumar started his career with his father in a troupe led by Gubi Virana. In 1953, he was spotted by film director H. L. N. Simha, who was on the lookout for well built, pleasant faced Badara Kanapa. Simha eventually signed him for the film and christened him. Rajkumar. He acted only in Kannada apart from Sri Kalahastiswara Mahadiyam in Telugu, a remake of Badara Kanapa. He acted in 206 movies, excluding his guest appearances. 
He owned a production company called Sri Vajreshwari Combines under the banner Dakshayani Combines. Bhagayata Bhagilu was his 100th film, Devata Manishya was 200th film, and Shabdavadi was his last film. His character depictions ranged from love to double and triple roles, from action and mythological characters to portrayals of contemporary social causes in the span over five decades. Rajkumar, along with his contemporaries Udaya Kumar and Kalyan Kumar, was referred as the Kumara Thrayeru of Kannada cinema. He acted in 36 films with Udaya Kumar and in five films with Kalyan Kumar. The films presented a populist version of Karnataka's history, focusing on the southern kingdoms from the Vijayanagara Empire and later to the intrigue and mystery of the Mysore royalty. He made historical movies such as Ranadhira Kantirava and Kavaratna Kalidasa. He made movies from Kannada novels and made movies against perceived social evils such as Jivana Shetra on evils of drinking and Shabdavadi on drug abuse. He acted with heroines of southern cinema such as Janti 36 films, Pandaribai 18 films, Leelavathi 28 films, Bharati 28 films, Kalpana 19 films, Arathi 13 films, B. Saroja Devi 10 films, Harini 11 films, Krishna Kumari 8 films, Madhavi 7 films, Manjula 7 films, Jayamala 6 films, Lakshmi 5 films, Geetha 5 films, Saritha 5 films and Jayaprada 4 Four films. Bollywood actress Rekha made her debut in Operation Jackpot Nali Sid 999 with him. He acted for South Indian directors from B. R. Pantulu and Puttana Kanigal to Shankar Nag and T. S. Nagabharana. Kai, Udaya Shankar has written dialogues and songs for 85 of his movies. Rajkumar was the first Indian artist to enact the role of James Bond in Jedera Bale. Later, in Operation Jackpot Nali Sid 999, Godali Sid 999 and Operation Diamond Racket he played roles chronicling the adventures of Prakash aka Agent Sid 999, a James Bondesque super spy. Much of these films were made from the directing pair of Dorai and Bhagwan who began making spy flicks relatively late in their career, including Operation Diamond Racket. In his obituary, Rediff.com wrote, It was his subtle acting, spontaneous style and his flair for giving real characters real credibility that helped him survive the onslaught of time, age and changing demands of the celluloid world. Despite his box office success, Rajkumar, a strong advocate of Kannada, confined himself to the Kannada film world. Topic. As singer Rajkumar trained in classical music when he was with Gubi Virana's theatre troupe. The track, Om Namaha Shivaya, from the 1956 film Ohaleshwara, that he also starred in, was his first for a film. He subsequently sang, Thumathu Maneva, for Mahishasura Mardini 1959. However, he became a full-fledged singer only in 1974 when he sang in place of P. B. Srinivas for Sampathij Saval, who had till then sung for most songs picturized on Rajkumar, fell ill. Rajkumar sang the energetic Yar Kugadali for the film which became widely popular during the time and is considered one of his best songs. Rajkumar has been credited for having sung across various genres and each rendition according to the mood of the scene in the film. In Yaru Tiliyaru Nina, for Babruvahana 1977, a prosodic form of Kannada poetry that required the tone to be a combination of sarcasm and anger, he blended the twin skills of theatrix and music. For Ne Nana Jelalair he sang two songs, Jiva Huvajide and Anuraga Inetu, beginning both with the refrain, I love you, that is, full of Carnatic gamakas. After the same tone in the refrain, they take on a life of their own, with the form according to love and happiness in the scene and the latter when there is love, but a discord in the scene. He is known widely for his rendition of Nadamaya for Jivana Shetra 1992, a song based on the Raga of Todian, with complex graces, and strings other Ragas as it progresses. He switches ragas with ease, and sings complex swara patterns like a professional classical artiste." For the rendition, he was awarded the National Film Award for Best Male Playback Singer. 
His frequent collaboration with the composer duo of Rajan Nagendra gave musical hits such as Bangarada Huvu Nayave Devaru Swayamvara Sri Srinivasa Kalyana Nanoba Kala and Chalasuva Modigalu .During his career, Rajkumar sang and performed for songs about Kanadigas, the Kannada language and culture, such as Janina Holeo from Chalasuva Modigalu, Manavanagi Huttadmele, from Jivana Shetra and Huttadare Kannada, from the film Akashmika. He sang a complete English song called, If You Come Today, Tick Tick Tick, in one of his Bond films, Operation Diamond Racket in 1978. This song became an internet meme in India following Rajkumar's demise in 2006. In later years, he lent his voice to a few actors and sang background solos. For the song Kanapa Katanu, from Mudina Mava, he provided playback to S. P. Balasubramanyam. This was a rare occasion. He sang Kalidasa slokas such as, Manakya Veena, and Ghazal based songs such as, Sada Kanal, Kanira Dare, and Yava Kaviyu. <laughs> Devotional songs Rajkumar recorded many devotional songs beginning in the 1970s for Columbia Recording Company starting with Mantralayak Hogona in 1972. His widely popular LP record, Guruvara Bantama, was also recorded during the time. In 1979, Sangeetha cassettes became India's first licensed pre-recorded cassettes. Rajkumar sang for the record producers devotional songs glorifying the Saint Raghavendra and the Hindu deity Hanuman. Personal life Family Rajkumar married a 14-year-old Parvathama, his cousin, on 25 June 1953 in Nanjangud. It went ahead in accordance to the agreement that their fathers made following the latter's birth. Together, they had five children, sons Shiva, Raghavendra and Puneeth, and daughters Lakshmi and Purnima. Having lived a hand-to-mouth existence, after marriage in a joint family that included 24 children in Madras, the family moved to Bangalore in 1972, after Rajkumar began getting multiple film offers. <inaudible> Abduction On 30 July 2000, Rajkumar, his son-in-law Govindaraju and two others were abducted by Virapan from the actor's palatial house at Gajanur Iroda district of Tamil Nadu. Virapan demanded the release of his gang members who were being held in jail under a defunct anti-terrorism law. The event prompted a massive manhunt and threw the Karnataka government into crisis. The Supreme Court of India opined that it was unpardonable on the part of the government of Tamil Nadu for not providing security to Rajkumar, although they had information a year earlier that he faced a threat of being kidnapped by Virapan. A special task force STF set up to capture Virapan had earlier warned Rajkumar against visiting the farmhouse, but his son Raghavendra later acknowledged that his father had not taken the threat seriously. After a total of 108 days in captivity, Rajkumar was released unharmed on 15 November 2000. His abduction and the manner in which his release was secured remains a mystery. <inaudible> <inaudible> Death and memorial On 12 April 2006, Rajkumar returned to his Sadashivanagar residence after his regular 20-minute walk and had a general medical checkup by 11.30 a.m. east. At 1.50 p.m. East, as he sat on a sofa, he asked a member of his family to slow the fan down and immediately collapsed. His personal physician Ramana Rao was called for, who rushed within three minutes, and performed external cardiac massage and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Rajkumar was then taken to M.S. Ramaya Memorial Hospital and was administered intracardiac injections. Efforts to revive him failed and he was pronounced dead at 2.05 p.m. East. Rajkumar's death triggered an outpouring of grief. There was major shutdown in the city of Bengaluru. An unofficial band closure of all shops and other establishments was observed. 
Several people attempted suicide after hearing the news, most of them were rescued. The funeral cortege the next day started from Sri Kantirava Stadium to Kantirava Studios a few minutes before 12.30 p.m. east, a distance of 14 kilometres Around two million people followed his remains. However, the entire procession was marked with violence with mourners attacking public property, and police, who resorted to lathi charge and tear gas. Passing through Krishna Raja Circle, Palace Road, T. Chaudaya Road, Sadashivanagar, Yeswanthpur and Goraguntapalya localities, the cortege reached the studios at 4.45 p.m. east. His body was buried with state honours at 5.45 p.m. east at the premises of the studios. The last rites were performed by his eldest son Shiva, guided by priests from the city's Iskan and the Gayatri temples. His eyes were donated to two visually impaired persons the same day. On 19 April, the government of Karnataka announced that a memorial would be made in Rajkumar's honour at Kantirava Studios in association with the Karnataka Film Chamber of Commerce at the cost 100 million rupees. The blueprint of the memorial was cleared by a panel comprising members of Rajkumar's family, representatives of the Kannada film industry and the state government. After a delay over allocation of funds and land, it was finally opened on November 2014, after a sum of 70 million rupees was used in developing it over an area of 2.5 acres hectares. It included, an open-air auditorium, mini water body, landscaping and a bust, of Rajkumar. Forty photographs of selected films of Rajkumar were kept on display at the inauguration. A permanent exhibition on the history of Rajkumar's films that included his photographs, trophies and souvenirs, alongside a stock of dialogue, scripts, songs and other memorabilia associated with him were put on display. An annual calendar for 2012 was released containing photographs of Rajkumar and stills from his films. Personality Rajkumar was best regarded for being a highly disciplined man in both his personal and professional lives. He practiced Carnatic music for an hour each day in the morning and in the evening. His punctuality is another noted aspect. Waking up every morning at 4 a.m., he performed yoga and pranayama, which is said to be the reason behind his physical and mental fitness. His yoga performances can be seen in the first clips of his film Ka Mana Bilu. Rajkumar is the first actor of world cinema who has mastered yoga. He shunned smoking and drinking both on screen and off. To avoid setting a precedent among his fans, he made sure that the roles he accepted did not require him to smoke or drink or utter swear words, and extended this decision to real life. His dress code always consisted of a simple white dhoti and shirt. He spent most of his vacations in his hometown, Gajanur, near the forest area where he was later abducted. He would always refer to his movie producers as Anna Dataru, food providers, and adored fans as Abhimani Devarugalu, fan gods. He was a devotee of Raghavendra Swami. The Hindu had reported that Rajkumar could have swept any pole effortlessly but had decided that the affection and love of the people should not be used to attain power. Kannada language movement Although Rajkumar rejected numerous offers to don the political mantle, he was able to influence the state's political fortunes without ever being officially involved in politics. However, his apolitical outlook did not prevent him from protecting and espousing the cause of Kannada and Karnataka. He had time and again advocated the cause of seeking primacy to Kannada, and hence was asked to lead a movement about making Kannada a compulsory language for primary education based on the Gokak Report, popularly known as Gokak Varadi. He became actively involved in the movement and soon became the force behind the Gokak movement. He took a rally from Belagavi to Bengaluru and gave speeches about the importance of Kannada Gokak agitation. Millions of people gathered only to have a glimpse of Rajkumar and listen to his speech. The movement became such a rage that the government relented and made Kannada a compulsory language of education in Karnataka. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honours Rajkumar was awarded numerous state, national and international awards. 
He was a recipient of the Padma Bhushan, a doctorate from Mysore University and the Karnataka Ratna, the highest civilian honour of the state of Karnataka, recognising him as a jewel of Karnataka state. In 1985, he was honored by a famous Kentucky Colonel Award by the then Governor of Kentucky, United States. By this, he became the only Indian actor to receive this prestige from the state of Kentucky, USA. In 1995, he received the prestigious Dadasaheb Falk Award for his outstanding contributions to the Kannada film industry. In 2011, during the 83rd birth anniversary of Rajkumar, the Chief Minister of Karnataka announced that the state government is recommending Rajkumar for a Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award of the country for his outstanding contribution to the film industry. <laughs> <laughs> National Film Awards 1992 Best Male Playback Singer for the Song Nadamaya e Lokavela, from the movie Jivana Shetra. 1995 Dadasaheb Falk Award, 2002 NTR National Award. Topic: <laughs> Filmfare Awards South. Raj Kumar holds the record of winning eight South Filmfare Awards in the Best Actor category in Kannada cinema. Below is the films for which he received the Best Actor Awards include Gandada Gudi in 1973 Mayura in 1975 Shankar Guru in 1978 Karalita Simha in 1981 Shravana Bantha 1984 Aid Kanu 1985 Bhagyata Lakshmi Bharama 1986 Akashmika in 1993 total of 8 Filmfare Awards for Best Actor category. Karnataka State Film Awards Rajkumar has won 13 Karnataka State Film Awards 9 for Best Actor, 2 for Best Singer, 1 Lifetime Achievement 1967-68 Bangarada Huvu 1970-71 Kula Gorava 1974-75 Bhakta Kumbhara 1976-77 Babruvahana 1981-82 Hosa Balaku 1982-83 Halu Jenu 1988-89 Devatha Manishya 1992-93 Jivana Shetra 1993–94 Odahadidavarubist Singer 1993–94 Akashmika Hudadar Kannada 1994–95 Thayi Alada Thavaru Arishina Kumkuma Other awards and honours Padma Bhushan in 1983 Karnataka Ratna in 1992 and title, Nada Sarvabhuma in 1967 from the Government of Karnataka. An honorary doctorate from the Mysore University in 1976. Kentucky Colonel, an honorary order from the Governor of Kentucky, United States in 1985. Postal stamps and gold coins bearing the actor's likeness were issued in 2009 by the Central Government of India. More than 1,100 statues of Rajkumar are placed in Karnataka. A statue in the Mayura touch placed in Basavishwaranagar is worth 10 million rupees. The Nadoha Award, an honorary doctorate from Hampi University in 1999. Nine Karnataka State Film Awards in the Best Actor category. Two Karnataka State Film Awards in the Best Male Playback Singer category. Vishwa Manava, named by Kannada poet Kuvampu. ETV Kanadiga of the Year Award in 2003. A 6 km 3 .7 miles road is named Dr. Rajkumar Road. The road stretches from the government soap factory in Yeshwantpur to Prasanna Theatre, Magadi Road in Bangalore. On 24 April 2017, Rajkumar's 88th birth anniversary, Google India dedicated a Google Doodle in his honour. He is the only Indian actor who got national award for singing. Topic. Sarthaka Suvarna 
On July 2005, the government of Karnataka captioned by N. Dharam Singh, the chief minister of Karnataka conducted a felicitation ceremony for honouring Rajkumar for his 50 years of service to Karnataka at Bangalore Palace named Sarthaka Suvarna significant gold. This ceremony was attended by the entire Kannada film industry marking respect and tribute to the legend, and could be called an official celebration of Golden Jubilee of Rajkumar's works and services to the Kannada film industry. See also Rajkumar filmography Cinema of Karnataka <laughs>